It's morning time and two-year-old Haley Woodwood is having her first meal of the day, but it's not toast or pancakes. The two-year-old hasn't eaten solid food in months. Five times a day, she sits for an hour hooked up to a feeding tube in her stomach, and that's all because of a toy. About a year ago, Haley choked on the plastic eye from her teddy bear. Her parents had no idea. Unfortunately, when I did uh, back chest thrusts, I got a piece of food out and she started breathing. So I stopped doing chest thrusts right away. We put her down and just, okay, and, and off she went. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't an event. And uh, looking back, I sure wish that we would have taken her to the hospital and asked for uh, like a bronchoscope or a much harder check. Haley had difficulty breathing and sleeping and would have aggressive coughing fits. She had CT scans, at least six x-rays, and doctors tried to look in her airway, but the plastic piece was hiding far down and behind her breastplate. Finally, a doctor in Saskatoon used a scope to go from her airway to her stomach. And immediately found a green object, but they didn't know what it was because the flesh had grown over so much in the course of a year that the piece was basically unidentifiable. The plastic eye had cut a hole in her throat. She's been through multiple surgeries, but her throat is now collapsing. Doctors say they are going to use a piece of her stomach to reconstruct her throat. One of her lungs will have to be shut down during the operation. Her parents say they're terrified. I am scared that she's not going to see her third birthday. Haley's parents have thrown out bags of small toys and encourage others to do the same. I am heavily, heavily against any stuffy coming into the house that has eyes that can fit in their throat. Haley's parents say they will consider contacting the toy company about the incident, but for now that's on the back burner until their daughter gets better. Alex Oladuka, CBC News, Regina.